And now I'm out of sand. Uh, so hopefully there's going to be no gribblies back there. Well, I'm back here uh, uh, mining sand at this point, and it's all right. Oh, marvellous. Um, oh, I, I, I said I was playing two games, and I didn't mention the other one. Um, to, the, like, I, I'm playing two uh, tabletop roleplay games, um, which is why I can only do live streams every Be other driven. Wednesday. <laughs> Greetings there. Actually, Chunk hasn't loaded. I can't see you yet, but never mind. Yeah, this is creepy. They're going, why did you do that? I was just minding my own business. Mm, I don't care. Ah, now I can see you. Cause just about. That's just how evil I am. I am Simon Slayer of Creepers. They only wanted a hug, Simon. <laughs> yes. Um, they just wanted to go... Hug. Yes. Yes. Uh, the other tabletop game. So again, not computer game, tabletop game. Uh, the other tabletop game I'm playing is a game that I've loved for years, uh, which is called Vampire the Masquerade. Um, which is made. But oh, oh, oh dear. There's a bit of a hole here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how I've managed to discover this, considering. Oh. I see. It's done one of that old Minecraft bug things, um, where there wasn't actually sandstone under one of the sand blocks, but it didn't drop <laughs> until they were disturbed. Uh, oh, it could so be you know, worse. They could have been. There's a bit of a hole here. True, true. Uh, do you have? Well, that's why you don't dig straight down. Um, Absolutely. You have, you have something that doesn't fall on you. Yeah. There you go. Ah, marvelous, Mark. He's probably thinking, if you're going to go around talking about me like that, I'm just, just going to go on my own way. And <laughs> Why did you do that? Well, why are you um, so cruel? But yes, I, 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 oh, oh, I found another hole, Simon. <laughs> There's a whole lot of earth over there. Uh, I suppose it's probably a good thing you're not actually standing on these when you find them, so. Yes, quite. Well, um, yeah, so, so I, I really wanted to play some Bloodlines, uh, but I couldn't get it working on my computer, so I, 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 I have a smartphone, so I, I, I just went vampire games and, and found a little click button game, and that's... I think oh. you are mistaken, Shizzy. I don't recall Tort saying that he live streams. No, 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 I don't stream. I, I don't have uh, the prerequisite programs. However, oh, 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 I'm fine. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to go get myself some dirt. Um. <laughs> you are basically determined to kill yourself. You know, it's, it's, it's not like you can drown anymore, so you're just finding other ways. Ah, but I'm actually avoiding it this time, so it's okay. But, uh, yes, Bl Bloodlines uh, was a game I was thinking of adding to my channel if slash when I started up again. Um, also on the list of things I want to do on my channel, should I ever start it up again, are uh, finish Evoland, because that was one of my favourite series that I did. And obviously, uh, obviously if I did ever start it up, I would continue my adventures with DF in uh, Shadowrun, which is, is, is another role-playing game that's uh, based off a tabletop game. Wasn't Evo Land the one that um, you know, the game evolves as you travel through it? It goes through the yes. history of gaming. Yes, yes. I think specifically the history of RPGs, mm. which is why I picked it up. <laughs> I have actually been thinking about doing a let's play of that myself because it's such an interesting game. Yeah, I, I got uh, about eleven episodes in uh, before I moved on to something else, um, but I, I really want to go back and finish it. Um, Come in. Oh, somebody's knocking on my door. I'll have to leave my housemate to deal with that. Yeah, it is a very strange game. And, like, the reason... Because the stories that come from it are hilarious, but playing it, my God, did I get headaches. Um, just trying to work out what the hell to do. Um, Chris is saying at least they don't meta game, but that that to be totally honest with you is the total and utter wonder of playing a, a tabletop role playing game as opposed to a computer one, because Indeed. the computer doesn't know if you're meta gaming. 
The Games Master does and will make your life a merry hell if you try it. Well, one of the things I've always said about uh, tabletop role-playing game versus computer role-playing games is um, you're, you're interacting with a human on every level. So the possibilities are so much more. Because one, one, one of my main problems I have with computer games is dialogue trees. Mm -hmm. even, even Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, as close and uh, as well as they've done it, and as as um, as well as they've got the theming and the kind of ideas of the tabletop game, they haven't stayed strictly true to some of the powers and various other things. But they they they've stayed true a lot in theme. Um, one of my favourite clans of Vampire the Masquerade are Markavians, um, and their clan curse is that they're all insane. Now, some 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 people don't quite play that right because they don't fully find out why. In theory, the reason why Clan Malkavian are all insane is because they're prophetic. They see the future, and to the point. Well, Vampire the Masquerade is in a setting where the end times are near, and there's there's the the end of the world um, in vampiric society is called Gehenna. Um, and in theory, uh, every day during their sleep, Malkavians are meant to see Gehenna. And that's enough to break anyone. Um, so, but when I initially started playing Bloodlines, um, when I was playing, before I had it myself, when I was just giving it a quick go, um, I thought, I don't want my character to say any of these things, because they've made their, their speech very strange and very kooky. And I almost thought they were going for the silly Malkavians. But as you play the game, um, you, you, you do kind of get some of that prophetic insight. Like some of the times when you meet certain characters, you'll know their name before they tell you and things like that. And you'll, you'll know things and be able to say things that your character has no way of knowing. But that's because they have the Malkavian insight. Um... And um, yeah, again, I've missed a torch somewhere, so I'm just going to plunk it there. Oh, what a surprise! Uh, <laughs> what you, okay, well, it's, 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 it's fairly true. I mean, to be totally honest, with you, I um, I just naturally assume that anyone I meet is called Bob, and occasionally I get it right. Uh, in one case, it's because her her name was Roberta, but that's another story altogether. Um, <laughs> so, so tabletop game, uh, computer games always have a certain inherent level of limitation. But uh, I still enjoy them. Um, it's just a very different way of playing. Like, I have a hat... Because um, I like to create a character in my head. But I always have to be quite loose with it when I'm playing um, a computer game. Because uh, they won't necessarily have the options for the character I have in mind. Or the dialogue options won't be quite what I want to say or or just simply the, the developers have like there's this several character ideas in mind and, and you just have to fit in one of those yeah and you know, it's, I mean, the, the, the same logic says you know so uh, it's very hard for um, computer games even to get the, the sort of interactivity you get when you go to a muddy field in the middle of a um, <laughs> derby and, and throw bean bags disguised as spellers at each other. Actually, mm. I haven't experienced that. Uh, is, that isn't the way the Lorien Trust handles spells. Um, I've heard that's a thing in certain American yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Who um, managed to actually outrun a mage bolt right. because... Um. Oh, yeah, just, just, just one second. Marshmallow, what are you doing up at one thirty? or fall? Go to bed! Thanks for hanging around. See you next week. <laughs> Bye-bye. Good night, Marshmallow. Um, yeah. Uh, they, 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 heard, they heard the high mage starting the mage bot vocal, and it's, it's a little bit longer than the usual vocal. It's, uh, by my high power of magic, I, um, I mage bolt your location. I and mage bolt heard... your face. Yes. Um, quite. Uh, Hold on, there's oh, monsters skelly, nearby. Skelly. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna have to have words with them. Go away! Go further away! There we go. Go right. fall to pieces. That works as well. And then uh, I'll just set fire to the door. Why not? Okay. <laughs> uh, this is not. Uh, I think we're alright. There we go. Um, but yeah, she 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 just heard the by my high power and started pegging it and actually managed to run out of the 30 foot radius of range spells. So, so she actually managed to outrun a mage bolt. It was quite, quite amusing to hear. Um, but yes, uh, I, 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 I do enjoy it. it. Like I said, it does take a certain amount of suspension of disbelief. Um, cause fights can be quite noisy. Because you've got different like damage types um, for special damage types. So, so when you hit somebody, you call out the damage. So you normally hear fights rolling past, like normal, normal, enchanted, enchanted. <laughs> Biting witticism, <laughs> forty-six. Oh, th th there's a there's a spell called confusion. Um. In, in, in which, if you, if you, you know, I've heard of that spell, but I've never understood what it does. <laughs> See, I'm leaving the puns all for you. Um, well, if you, if you don't have to leave them, I just take them regardless. <laughs> I just realised I've walked back here, but I haven't got any uh, sand. <laughs> so, <laughs> back you go, laddie. Things should have despawned by now. <laughs> quite, quite. Um, so, if you were struck with confusion for thirty seconds. Uh, you 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 will still be able to defend yourself, but you won't be able to attack, and you'll be looking around in in a confused state. Um, in some uh, cases, it's until, hard to tell the difference. Uh, for either either for I think it's ten or thirty seconds, however long the spell is, or until you uh, take damage. However, there's there's some people that that do a bit of a play on this. And actually distract and confuse because there's another spell called distract which works slightly differently. Um, but th th they'll play on this um, and turn around and point <laughs> point a finger at, at somebody and start shouting things at them like "Pay attention to my finger because <laughs> because I don't want you to notice that my friends are coming up behind you to hit you and and like." <laughs> So essentially, doing the same as the spell, except without actually casting the spell, so it can be ignored, but, like, they're actually being distracted, so <laughs> it's an actual distraction rather than a magical one. <laughs> and now we start on level three. Yep, yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely, absolutely right, Chris. That sounds very, very much like uh, uh, um, Rincewind-type magic. Um, I, I, I did know a girl once who, in a, a similar situation, um, managed to distract the enemy by taking her shirt off, which <laughs> distracted them completely right up to the point where they didn't notice that 15 people were walking up behind them and uh, uh, tapping on the shoulder and saying, you're, late, you're dead, matey. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's, there's a bit of zombie flesh over here for some reason. <laughs> I think I've managed to offend Shizzy. That's great. I'm gonna get end up getting banned from my own live stream. <laughs> oh dear. And and yes, terminal glow. I totally agree with you. Um... I also am a little bit of a fan of that item of clothing. <laughs> I quite agree with both of you, to be totally honest with you. And. Um... Okay, Fat Frog is calling me a tortoise. I'm, no, not, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Uh... <laughs> he's, he's not. He's, he's rather unfortunately timed his his statement, but it, it's actually um um uh, no, it's an it's an old story about how um a woman refused to believe in you know, sort of how the world was round and Darwinism and all that because she firmly oh. believed that the earth was flat and it was on the back of tortoises. So, and it's, um, it's all the yeah, way the down. person, the person, uh, the, the woman was asked, her, so what was the tortoise standing on? And she said, you can't fool me like that. It's tortoises all the way down. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> I had, uh, so some people when trying to lengthen the name Tort have occasionally called me tortoise. <laughs> 
Um, do I realise that some of the chat are female? Yes, and if I have offended any of them, they, they all need to do is shout out. I don't believe I've offended any of them because they're a mature lot of fun people. And this pit, this shovel is needs repairing again. Good lord. Oh, mine's nearly out as well. Oh dear, this is getting a bit scary actually because I've just blocked up one hole and it block updated. And a few uh, others fell in. <laughs> oh dear. There's basically uh, about 70 floor canyon down here. I think we might actually have to start digging somewhere else. Ah. Uh, well, I, I'm sure we can find somewhere. Yeah. Um, uh, actually, it's uh, 10 to midnight, so we should actually stop in a minute. But oh, just, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a big cave over here. Yeah. Well, there's, there's, there's a blooming great canyon right underneath us, as I've just found out. Oh. Oh, I can see some precarious sand right here. <laughs> just the entrance to this cave. Yeah. Oh, that's disturbing. Oh, and... and oh. All that is just floating sand as well. Oh, my God. Maybe, sh maybe I should try and collapse it. And then... Maybe you should. No, Simon, you must stream forever. Uh, no, just for four and a half hours. It just seems like forever. There we go. I think, well, that's... Hold on, I'll just say, if you yeah. can collapse anything, just let me get on top of some earth. And then put some stone on top of that stone, earth and get on top of that. Um, and perhaps stand I've on top of one of these trees. It, only, only, it was only a little bit. It wasn't the full cave. It's only over, and I, I'm quite away from you anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's... Because one of the things I dislike about stripping beaches for sand and such, which is why I don't have much sand myself, is I don't like leaving it looking unnatural, if you know what I mean. It's yeah. a, it's the same with like floating trees. I hate floating trees. So so like that's why I haven't stripped all this back right the way to the dirt. I've kind of left it in vaguely odd looking shapes so it looks a, a little bit more natural. Why I agree with you. I I I I deliberately picked this beach because nobody will ever come to it again. Oh, true, true. But, yeah, I, in general, if we were closer to spawn, I would make great care to um, landscape the ground. I mean, I'm, I'm actually doing that at the moment. I am I'm I need huge amounts of stone and earth on the iris server. Um, so I'm actually levelling a hill, but I'm doing it in such a way that eventually, at the end of it, I hope nobody will notice. Oh, on that point, you mentioned your iris server. Mm -hmm. Shizzy, Shizzy, are you listening, Shizzy, Shizzy? I have started watching. I'm not. I, I'm not caught up yet, but I have started watching um, some of your Iris server series. Well, since I've just put up episode 59, I will forgive you for not being quite caught up. Yeah, I think I'm still in the <laughs> 20s somewhere. <laughs> before, and that was before I went away to the field. Yeah. I've got. I've got a lot of series that I watch to catch up on now. And I was a little bit good, although I don't do ultimate hardcores because it, it's not really what I like to play. I I wouldn't actually mind uh, wouldn't actually mind taking part in one and then probably being the first to die. Um, well, somebody but, has to. Yeah, um, but I, I I was gutted that I, I missed the little tuxedo iris um, ultimate hardcore little. Simply because it was a collaboration between our two servers. Yeah, well, it was it was loads of fun. It wasn't actually a proper ultra hardcore and such. And I I'm 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 going to be really looking forward to putting up the footage for that, which is going to happen fairly soon. Just waiting on a few bits and pieces of creatives. But uh, it's going to be nice just to see you know just how we did and badly, and um, how it looks terrible and who won. It's going to be a massive surprise. Oh, you've lost some sand over here. You're... How much have I got now? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I've got 11 stacks on me right now. Excellent. Well, um, it's coming up to midnight, so if you are done, you might as well just drop them into the chest and I, they will yeah. get used. Uh, thank you once again. Oh, no uh, problem. Uh, okay, we've got about five minutes before we stop doing this. Um, would anybody care to ask a final question of us? 
and it has been much better this time being able to interact with you guys. Yes, and actually, um, surprisingly, not dying, which. Don't jinx us in the last five minutes. Yeah, I'm willing to bet you can sit in that cottage and drown. <laughs> Actually, keep that there. Um, there's everything but the dirt um, I've collected so far. I'll put in a chest. Thank you, kind sir. In case anyone's wondering, this is the, I, I think, to be honest with you, I will probably be building this over the lifetime of this server. Um, you know, and so you know, I'll probably be still be working on details of this when we when we um, restart <laughs> the world. <laughs> well, how far away is uh, point nine? Um, point nine's a, a, a while away, but I don't think point nine is going to actually require a, a world restart. All oh, right. Um, Technically, it doesn't. You don't require one at all. I mean, I, I my world went went from one seven to one eight without any problems. Well, apart from a few rose bushes died, mm. but uh, um, it's best to do it because that's the way that bugs get in. And to be honest with you, restarting the servers tend to be because you know we're getting bored with this world. Let's do something new. But um, yeah, terminal. Um, re really nice to see you as part of the family. If you can sign up, join in. Um, if you like this, well, you're bad. But if you like this, then um, we do. I do plenty of stuff on YouTube as well, which uh, you might find fun. There's uh, even more of me on there. <laughs> there's even more tools on there. Yes. We we had a lovely little scrolls game where you trounced me. Um, well, it was it was rather close, but you did win in the end. Uh, cottage cheese is to technological research as pugs are to geology. Discuss. Well, I, I actually disagree with that statement in so much that uh, um, it, it, pugs are are not related to geology in any way. If you'd said mice, you know, you'd had a fervent, if not fevered, supporter of your statement there in me. But uh, pugs? That's just ridiculous, man. That's just odd. You know, what's this rubbish you're talking? To be honest. Oh. Yeah, you know, once I was told by a boss, he had this catchphrase, it was no there's no such thing as a stupid question. I took that as a challenge. <laughs> Quite indeed. If the boss was particularly obnoxious, then yes, most yeah. definitely. <laughs> well I, I think I cured him of that phrase. I'll say that much. <laughs> okay, alright. Oh, hello, zombie. I have no weapons, so leave me alone. Well, why don't you come inside? I'm on my way. Okay. I was just wandering for a bit. No idea why, but I was. <laughs> yeah, you can ask a question, provided I can answer it in the next couple of minutes. Fire away, fat frog. Uh, same goes for me. I, I don't know who your direct question is going to be directed at, but yes. Happy to answer questions. Oh, excuse me if you caught that yawn. Uh, uh, if you did catch that yawn, could you throw it back, please? It was fun. Uh, Have you ever played Magic the Gathering? Yes. And no. <laughs> um, I, I, I played it... About, I first started playing it when it first came out about 15 years ago and I went along to a, a Magic the Gathering meet a couple of years back and everyone was found my cards absolutely hilarious you know, because every single rule had changed in the previous 15 years. <laughs> uh, such is the way. No. It, I, they, they've actually done that intentionally to... Um, I, I know this from extra credits, um, which is a, a series I watch. Yes, um, it's a good one as on well. The theory of gaming and, and such, um, and thinking behind computer games and various other games. Uh, it's to avoid a thing called power creep, which is where you come out with an addition uh, that's more powerful than the last, and eventually everything gets too overpowered and it kind of kills your game. To avoid the way they've done to, avo to avoid that is that cards will go out of date kind of thing so they can have a power reset if you like yeah. 
Yep, this is very true. Okay, it's midnight. I think we're going to end it here. Thank you very much, guys, for sticking around. And I hope you've all had time. I had fun. I know this was, you know, not in itself the most interesting task, but I, I hope the conversation and the banter okay. and all that has been enjoyable. So, yes, as Shizzy has said, have a great night, everyone. And I'll be putting an edited version of this up on YouTube so you can get to see our answers yet again. So until the next time, thank you and good night. Very well. Goodbye.